Hello, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, and welcome back to some more Tectonica. Uh, I'm, built, I'm back in my test world, I'm just building different stuff. Uh, so this, I, I, I don't even think this is going to be big enough. Uh, I, I, I think in, I'm, these things are scary. Um, these are threshers. If you don't know what these are, if you haven't really used them that much, the problem with them is, is trying to paint these things is incredibly difficult. Uh, they just so much, they just e eject so much stuff out of them. Um, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to see if I can get this thing under control. So, uh, what we're going to do here, uh, is we we, we have 10, uh, Kindle vines over here. So we have 10 Kindle vines. Uh, and then we have uh, a thresher basically uh, threshing the Kindle vines down to make, uh, you know, seeds and make sticks. And then the sticks will go in here. Uh, they'll get separated into uh, Kindle vine extract and also. Uh, it just happened in my. There, you might came back. Uh, they'll go into a kin Kindle vine extract and also a plant fiber. Uh, plant fiber is going, and so basically what's going to happen is I put stack inserters here. Uh, the Kindle vine is going to come through here. It's going to go into these guys. Uh, these are all set up. Uh, if I hit Alt, you see, uh, it basically plant, plant fiber goes to one side. Uh, Kindle vine extract goes to the other, right? So you have four of them that are going to go that way. And you have these three over here that are going to go this way, right? Uh, oh, well, that that's... That's awkward. Um, th this is why we check stuff. Uh, so as always, I, I just, I'm kind of uh, trying to see if I can get all this stuff to work. Uh, and and it, it's, this is, this is the only way I've found to be able to keep the, these threshers empty is to basically run it into boxes like this and, and basically have a, all the the uh, filter inserters over here because filters inserters are slow um, and they're just they're just slow. So uh, basically, the Kindle vine extract is going to go into here. It's going to be uh, basically forced into these furnaces as fast as it can uh, uh, to be converted into limestone, uh, and then the limestone is going to go this direction, uh, and it's going to go under this guy. Uh, that's we'll get to this in a second. Um, it's going to go over here, and then it's going to be basically stack inserted into these guys uh, to try to get um, and, and make make pellets, right? Uh, so the problem is, is I need 50 limestone in each one of those to make it function. Uh, so halfway down here, I split the line, and I have half of these going that way, half of these going that way. Well, it's not really half. It's it's kind of kind of half um, going this way. Uh, so, and then these do the same thing over here, uh, and then basically making, making pellets, right? Then the, the, the pellets will come back on here. They're going to go all the way back around. <laughs> They're going to feed our furnaces. So our furnaces stay, stay powered, uh, because we need them to be, uh, powered. Uh, then the fuel pellets are going to come down here. They're going to be stored in these boxes. Uh, so that uh, eventually we would be able to connect something to it, uh, and it, and if we needed a uh, fuel pellet somewhere else to run something, uh, we'll have a, a good supply of fuel pellets to be able to do that. Um, and then uh, the plant fibers are going to go into these guys, get turned into to plant matter. Uh, the plant matter will go in here, and then we're just going to try to transfer that over as fast as we can. Uh, the other thing we have is these guys here that are kind of going to set on the ends and the goal here is to try and get a little bit of the excess um plant matter kind of carried carried out or the plant fibers carried out and just something done with them uh and then maybe i i don't know uh, you put a, a smelting array next to it or something because this this will basically be infinite infinite uh, fuel pellets. Uh, this this is gonna be more fuel pellets than you can you can function. 
Uh, the real trick is, is like I said, to see if I can keep the thresher empty. Uh, and I, I wish, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a stack inserter here uh, and let it start. And then uh, we're going to see what happens. So that will go in and it will start loading in. You're going to see all, all the stuff is going to get mixed. Uh, it's literally the, the idea with all the stack inserters is to try to keep this belt as full as I can. Um, and then you'll see it's going to go over here. Let me get my pickaxe back to make things a little bit easier to see. Uh, and then it's just going to grab as fast as it can. Uh, somebody, you know, just constantly grabbing something. So the, the, the hope and kind of the idea here is to try to get this thing go, go down here. If I start getting build up here, then I don't have enough boxes. I need more boxes. Uh, that That's it. If, if they start these lines start backing up i need more boxes um so uh the the whole plan and with most of these series is for me to try to give some sort of idea of how to do things um and how to do it um, i did have to put a little bit of fuel in this thing to kind of get it started um and to try to get enough fuel kind of going uh it'll be interesting to see uh, I, I, I try to, to have these things start with as little as I can in them uh, just to kind of get things started. Uh, you'll see the the plant matter starting to go. Uh, it's it's going fairly quickly. Uh, the uh, This stuff, it's, it's almost got a little bit. Uh, so that will be pin uh, bio bricks coming out. So uh, it, it's it's a lot of bio bricks to be to be fair uh it's 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 a lot uh so hopefully hopefully we'll get some of these things to start uh going here soon uh so there it goes there there we're gonna get our first run uh and the problem is is i don't think i'm gonna have enough limestone coming through to uh be able to keep those things running at full blast uh it's it's this like I said, this is a disaster of a, a process trying to keep this thing empty. And we're keeping it empty. Um, so that is a red a red running basically as fast as we can, keeping it as, as full as we can. Uh, just, you know, it, it's running continuously and we're keeping it empty. Um, that's, that's the problem with these threshers is trying to like this one's gonna just be it's just gonna take a while to get get caught up um just because the uh i i, I let it run for a while and uh i just i can't i can't stuff things in here fast enough uh so but it's try. i my real my real question is is can i keep this one empty i'm not worried about this one being empty because this one like I, i'm not worried about it uh but this one, I want this thing to run as fast as I can. And this is a red. This is a Mark II uh, brusher. Like, this is this is insane, like, ridiculous stuff going on right now. Uh, I could have gone through and uh, eventually uh, maybe even upgrade some of these if I need to uh, to try to get some, some red speed out of them. Uh, I'll probably end up getting these guys here and doing uh, this uh, with a, a, a Mark II assembler just so that I can get this guy to run basically as fast as I can. Um, because if there's enough uh, fiber in here, uh, I, I just, the, the problem is, and the problem's going to be that we are going to make more plant fiber than we will limestone. And that, that ultimately is going to be a problem because we just won't have, we won't have enough. Uh, or we won't have enough limestone. So in the past when I've done this, I've had to actually uh, feed extra limestone in, uh, not because the system won't power itself, uh, but because the system, uh, I, I get too much plant fiber. There's just too much plant fiber in it. Uh, so we end up with a situation where we we start you know, backing up with plant fiber. And right now we're doing okay. Uh, the, the third one, you see the third one's got 70 already in it. Um, 
and I can kind of, you know, do some some sneaky math and and try to to take a little bit more plant fiber and shove it out the side here if I can. Uh, but the idea is is to have this thing run as fast as it can to kind of bleed off that extra plant fiber, uh, and then figure out something to do with this stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, uh, but that's that's the plan. Uh, so really, the ultimate goal here uh, is to kind of see if we can get it to work. Um, I want to let it run for a little bit uh, and see kind of what happens uh, as these guys go through. Uh, hopefully, they're you know they'll kind of grab they'll, that fuel burns for a while. Um, I could tra change it and have it run on the plants and kind of see if I can kill some of, of the uh, the throughput with that. Uh, but uh, for for what we're trying to do, uh, we're, we're doing fine. Um, and this is how you tame. <laughs> so this is how you tame a, a red thresher. Like this thing, this thing is running as, basically as fast as it can, running, you know, it, just constantly. And we're keeping it empty. So you have one stack inserter feed it, and you have seven stack inserters emptying it. It's the only way I figured out how to do it. And then you basically just stick everything on a single belt, and you have to separate these into two belts. You cannot, you cannot, you can't double this up. You 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 need two blue belts and freaking seven stack inserters. And it's the only way I found to do that. And then, like I said, uh, right now we have uh, so two, four six eight ten twenty four boxes so that means 48 filter inserters picking stuff up trying to keep the belts clear and they're not getting to the center so and and we don't want them to get to the center we we want to clear the stuff off beforehand if you really wanted to kind of to you know get a little bit out of it um you could probably you could probably take these these four out. Uh, and maybe maybe these four. So you might be able to take the eight out of the center. Uh and and it would kind of help you uh and make life a little bit easier. Uh but like I said, ultimately what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna end up with some problems where these things these things are gonna start backing up. Uh, there's just no way around it. Uh, they're they're gonna back up. It's it's gonna happen. <laughs> and the trick is here is to try to keep as much limestone as we can uh, going into the system and doing it. So uh, hopefully this uh this will help you. This will give you a little bit of an idea how to do like an infinite infinite uh, fuel uh, slash you know how to how to tame a thresher. Uh, so taming taming the red thresher is is not a joke. Um, it is, uh, it is, it is a mess. Uh, and that's, I, I overbuilt these. I think normally I tried to do about five to one of these. Uh, I did 10, um, mostly because I wanted to make sure this thing was backed up. I wanted it to be backed up and I wanted, because I want this thing to basically as fast as I can get stuff in it. Oh, and, uh, yeah, these, uh, these stack inserters are fully maxed out, uh, the uh, logistics. Uh, we have all the stack inserter uh, installs. Like that is as fast as I can do it. That so each time a, one of these stack inserters grabs something, it's grabbing six items. It's not messing around. Uh, and even with a little bit of time that we ran this thing, uh, yeah, we already have 120 extra fuel pellets in there. So that's it. So if you like these videos, uh, uh, please, you know, consider giving the video a like if you think it deserves it. Uh, if you want to subscribe uh, to uh, more information or more of these in the future, uh, I'm trying to do some of these uh, little different builds, different ideas, kind of kind of different ideas I have to building stuff. Uh, so I, I've got a lot of time in Factorio, Satisfactory. Uh, I, I do a lot of building games, and I really enjoy them. Uh, so if you want to see more of that stuff, please let me know. If you have a, a an idea for, hey, can you fix this? Or, hey, can you show me how to build that? Uh, throw those down in the comments. Um, I'm open to it. Uh, I, I'm just going to kind of go through the, the items that I want to build. 
Uh, but if somebody has a request for something, eh, I'll throw at it. I, I'll throw I'll throw some power at it and see what we can do. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go from there. But other than that, you guys be safe, and we'll see you with the next one.